Hi everyone. In my previous video, I started talking about join, wherein I told you that join can be used or is used to combine rows from two or more tables together based on a related column between them. Okay, and that was when we also talked about inner join, inner join, and I also made you to realize that in an inner join records or rows that have matching keys or values in both tables are returned. I gave you an example using the customer table and the rental table. Okay. And what I showed you right there was that we could join using the customer ID column in both tables, right? I told you that the customer ID column in this customer table is the primary key and the customer id in the rental table is the foreign key so when we joined these two tables on the customer id we were able to return the rows where the key in this customer id column of the customer table is the same as the customer id in the rental table what do we mean this one has customer id one you also have one right here and that is why we return the year two there is a two year but there is no two year therefore in our output we didn't return two we didn't return customer id two we had three year we have three year we also have three right here that those are matching keys therefore we return that role when we join right also uh customer id four we have it here we also have three customer id fours here and that is why we return three rows for customer ID 4. As you can see, we have customer ID 5 right here, but we don't have customer ID 5 right here. Therefore, we did not return that. So at that point, we were able to talk about, you know, inner join, right? Because that is where you have matching keys in this joining column, this column at which we are joining. But in today, we are going to be looking at the left join. However, if you have not watched the video where I explained inner join, I will actually advise you to go watch that right now before you continue uh, with this one. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I highly encourage you to subscribe and click on the bell to turn on your notification so you don't miss any of our videos. Okay, now let us look at left join. What is left join? What does it do? In left join, records or rows from the left table is going to be returned records from what from the left table is going to be returned plus any matching keys or values from the right table so you have your left table which i can call table a and then i have my right table which i can call table b okay so let's assume you have this table and you want to return all the records in this left table also you also want to return the the records that have matching keys with table a and table b that's left and the right column then you are going to have that as well and that is why we shaded this part okay so your left join is going to help you to return rows or records that are in this left table plus any other row which this table a and table b have in common that is basically that have matching keys in both table a and table b remember we are going to be using a particular column to join these two tables so if they have those values in common then you are going to return that right here those ones they do not have in common but you have in the left table also are going to be returned right here i think with an example you are going to be able to understand what we are talking about right here better okay now let us look at this table right here customer table this is your left table take this as your left table and that's why i have it on the left okay and that is your left table is the table that you write first in your query we are going to write a query for this you're going to see it and the the rental table is your right table okay so you write the customer table first followed by the the right one which is the rental table okay we are going to see how to write that now 
let's say we have this table and we have this rental table and you want to join you want to do a left join from what i just told you in this in the previous slide is that if you are doing a left join that means you are going to return all the records in the left table plus plus take note of that any records that these two tables have matching keys okay any other records or rows that these two tables have what matching keys let us see how do we form this left join uh return uh table or display right here so if i join these two tables this is what i'm going to have as my output how did we come about this let us take a look guys so like i said this is my customer table if you look at this this is customer id one i also have customer id one right here so because of that i am going to return it because they have matching keys so therefore i'm going to have as you can see mary smith i have mary smith and then what are the other columns i have rental id 26 then i have one right here because I'm, i want to also uh, record I also, I also want to display the customer id column of this also right here. that's why i put it re rental customer id and this one i call it customer customer id which means that the customer id on the customer table this one is customer id on the rental table okay and as you can see the inventory id is 2346 i hope you get that right now what about if we then go to the next one customer id 2 if you look at this there is a customer id 2 here but we do not have any customer id 2 right here so that means this table they do not have customer id 2 in column and they do not have it in common rather so you can see that even though they do not have it in common we still return them right here we still return this customer id 2 and that is what the left join does like i said since this is on the left table you are still going to return it so we are still returning this because it is on the left table okay however because there is no corresponding or there is no matching key for customer id2 right here that is why you see that these are null values rental id is null customer id in this rental table is null inventory id is null for this customer id two you can see that if it were to be in inner join you wouldn't have seen you wouldn't have seen this customer id two being returned as you can see in the previous video that we where we looked at inner join right you wouldn't have seen this being returned just like i can show you right here quickly if you look at the output that we got for the inner join right here you can see we don't have a two right here and that is because there is no matching key between this and this for inner join but for left join we are returning it because this two is part of the left table okay so let us go ahead guys now if you look at customer id3 we have customer id3 right here we also have customer id3 right here so that means there is a matching key therefore we are going to return them right here you can see we have joined on this customer id3 because I, we have it in in the left table we also have it in the right table do you get that now guys you see how this thing is working now if we go to the next one customer id4 what happens there is a customer id4 right here there is also customer id4 right here so here you can see we have three rows for customer id4 so we are going to return all of them right here you can see we have telma Mure. this is from the from the left this is from the left and you can see this comes from the right 24 4 15 25 you can see 24 4 15 25 right if you go to the second row tell my Mure, that one is of you have 28 4 23 46 28 4 23 46 and then the next tell my Mure is what is 28 
2452. Can you see that now, guys? That in the case of 1, 3, and 4, we have matching keys in both the customer table, which is your left table, and the renter table, which is on the one on the right. Okay, and that's why we return them here. Okay, then also for customer ID 2, we have it only on the left, we don't have it on the right. We also still returned it because we are doing a left join. However, because there is no corresponding row that will be able to match because we don't have the customer ID, yet. that's why we have it as null, null, null. Okay, now let us look at the fifth one if you look at this customer table for customer id5 you can see that we have five grace ellis and that's why we have grace ellis here but because we don't have a customer id5 right here that means there is no matching role there is no matching key between this customer id here and this customer id here and that is why you see this to be null we see this to be what to be null can you see that? However, we still returned it in this our output to be table. Why? Because this is a left join. Take note in a left join, you are still going to return all the rows in your left, all the records in your left table. In addition to that, you are going to return any row that you have matching keys, matching keys right on the first on the left table and the right table using that related column that matching column that you are using which in this case is customer id i hope you get that now right now guys now let us go to pg admin and let us see how we can write uh, such code right here in this case also we are going to be using the customer and the renter table Okay, we already now conversed with this uh, table. Okay, so let's assume you want to return the customer name. I'm just going to copy and paste this right here to make it faster. If you take a look at this, guys, what we have right here. Right, I've also shown you this type of stuff also before in the previous video where we looked at inner join. But in the case of this one now, what is different? Look at this. This is what is different. Left. Just this. It is just this word that is different. Okay. So what did we do here? We did a select statement. And we are saying that we want the customer ID. Right. But this customer ID here is from this customer table. So let us call it customer, customer ID. That means that this customer ID is from this customer table. Okay. We also want to get the first name from the customer table which we know very well if you go to your cost if you go to the customer table right here you can see we have customer id we have first name we have last name so now we also want to return last name then also if you go to your rental table if you go to your rental table let us look at the columns that we have we have the rental id right so let us return that it also has the customer id and that is what we are going to be using to join so in this case, I say customer ID, then I put the rental. So I say the rental is the table, right? Rental dot customer ID. So I call it rental customer ID, right? Also, we want to return the, we want to have the inventory ID column. So that's why I also put this right here, okay? Now, if you look at this, now that you have written out this select of all these columns, from what table from customer table so this first table that you have written right here is your left remember what i said previously this the the table that you wrote first is your left table and then you are now saying that i want to do a left join with the rental table so that means that the customer table is going to be on the left this rental is going to be on the right so from the rental table we want to return these columns from the customer table we want to return these columns then you need to specify on what column are you trying to match or from what columns are you trying to join basically are you trying to join these two tables 
customer table and renter table. So in this case, we are specifying that we want to join on customer ID column. So in this case, you have to specify this customer ID column is coming from this customer table. Let me undo that. Sorry about that. So I have customer dot customer ID equals rental dot customer ID. So I'm saying that I want to join on the customer ID column. Okay. So that means that join this. Are, this is where we are going to be looking for the matching keys. Okay. Or the matching values that does the magic. And also this keyword left is very, very important. If I execute this right now, very good. You can see that this has run right here. You can see that we have customer ID. This customer ID from the customer table and we have this customer ID from the rental table. And we have been able to join this. And remember what I told you that when you join this, what happens is that you are going to have all the records from the customer table. Okay. Plus any record where this customer ID in the customer table also is present in the, in, in the customer ID in the rental table. Okay. Where they have the matching keys. You are going to return those keys. I mean, those rows. Do you understand that right now? That is what left join is. You can see we have all these rows right here. This returned uh, 16,044 rows. Okay. I hope you get that right now. All right, guys. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I highly encourage you to subscribe because we are going to be having more videos as part of this series that will take every one of us from the uh, beginner level to the advanced level. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next class. Bye.